let's talk about the one reason why men and women stop taking antidepressants. Well, as you know, antidepressant for some people can be a wonder drug where you're feeling down in the dumps, at your lowest lows, depressed, and you have low mood symptoms such as, you know, loss of interest or pleasure in activities, lack of energy, you know, loss of appetite, poor sleep. And I do have patients coming to me and saying, doctor, I'm depressed. Can you give me a pick me up? And I'm like, what's that pick me up? And they were like, can you give me some antidepressants? And I do have to counsel them to let them know that antidepressants are not something that will make you feel better tomorrow. For some people, they can feel better within a week. For others, it can take weeks or even months. Or for some people, antidepressants might not even work. And you can check out my video on why antidepressants might not work for you. But antidepressants, as well as it has benefits, also have side effects, which might be intolerable for some people. And these side effects usually would last for two weeks and the body now gets used to the medication. Some people might not experience side effects at all. All side effects might last longer than two weeks and can go on for a few weeks or months, but you might feel that you can persist with the medication because the benefits outweigh the side effects. But there are some side effects that are severe enough to affect your daily functioning, which end up making you having to stop the medication. Now, most common side effects include headaches, dizziness, drowsiness, tummy pain, diarrhea, pins and needles, numbness, insomnia, which is lack of sleep, feeling restless, agitated, having nightmares, feeling very tired, emotionally numb or feeling flat or feeling spaced out. I mean, the side effects list are quite endless actually. But the most common reason why men and women actually stop taking antidepressants is due to the sexual side effects as they can cause reduced sexual libido, which is loss of interest or desire in sex. And this means that you might have little or no interest in sex when that time comes. Now, this is a catch-22, as having a low sex drive can actually be a symptom of depression. And antidepressants, which helps with low mood symptoms, can help to boost your sex drive in that aspect. But there are cases where taking antidepressants would actually make your low sex drive even worse. One study found out in women who were taking antidepressants, there were 70 to 80% who reported having a low sex drive or trouble achieving orgasm. Now, for men, the sexual side effects include you can have problems getting an erection, problems keeping an erection, you might have delayed orgasm, or even trouble achieving an orgasm, which means that you might not be able to climax when you want to, or you might not even climax at all. For women, it is a slightly different experience where they get vaginal dryness or delayed lubrication, because usually the vaginal will secrete fluids to prepare the body for intercourse. You could have a lack of sexual arousal or desire, as well as having a delayed orgasm, where you just cannot achieve climax similar to the man. Now, the most common antidepressants that can affect your sexual desire are called the SSRIs, which I've talked about in my previous videos, and these include fluoxetine, paroxetine, citalopram, acetalopram, and sertraline. You also have the tricyclics, such as amitriptyline, which can also affect your sex drive. And while they increase your serotonin levels, which helps with depression, they also dampen or block what we call your dopamine neurotransmitters, which are actually released by the brain during intercourse. So when you're feeling good, it's usually the release of dopamine that allows this to happen. So if you're on antidepressants and you're having these sexual side effects, let your partner know so that they understand the situation and they do not think that you're not attracted to them in any way. Also let your doctor know because there are other options that your doctor can suggest, such as maybe reducing the dose of the antidepressants. It could be that you're on a higher dose that's causing the side effects and going on a lower dose might help. Or it could be that maybe your doctor might want you to switch to an alternative depressant, to an alternative antidepressant that's less likely to cause side effects. Maybe an antidepressant that's not an SSRI such as metazapine or bupropion, also known as Welbutrin, which is actually known to stimulate the sexual side of things. Or maybe it's not antidepressants that are the cause of the problem. Maybe you might have deep-rooted psychological issues that have coincided with taking the medication. So consider going for psychosexual therapy or consider could it be underlying causes like hormonal imbalance, for instance. For example, in men, you could have low testosterone, which can cause a reduced sex drive. In women, especially those going through the menopause, again, you could have low testosterone, which can cause a low sex drive. Before you stop taking antidepressants, please speak to your doctor. Now, I hope you like this video. Please feel free to share and subscribe.